So look at that keep on the bottom then. See if this been uh, open. Somehow they've cleared this. Oh, oh, oh dear. That did not sound good. Yeah. That's taken all the air out of it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. I've got my trousers on. Oh. This gap in the roots. I've got a dog coming up. Damp by that. Oh, it's rough. A bit damp. Compared to the day, it has rained a bit over the last few days. Yeah, those roots. <laughs> Got about 18 uh, psi in the rear tyre, but you got it really in this. A bomb down the field. I'll take it a bit more into the woods. that rock on the left, it's like a bar of soap. I have to be in inner tube change, unfortunately. My tire levers broke, it's actually snapped there. Luckily on my Topeak Mini tool, I got a little tire lever. So thank goodness for that. Well now, I just hope now this second one is gonna fit in there i can't believe that but that one had been used before so yeah gonna have to break into the new one pumping up the maxis tube now fingers crossed some plastic gloves in your bag innit? so when you're handling an inner tube covered in sealant don't get all over your hands and that's all contained within that glove.
Oh, still some decent blackberries to be had. Ooh. I'm hoping now that I won't have a puncture on the rest of the ride because I'm out of inner tubes. Okay. Now I'm like, what happens if I get another puncture? But imagine doing that when you're some distance away from civilization. Like if you're riding up in Glen Corrug area, Skyline or somewhere, you could be, you know, a good 10, 15, maybe even 20 kilometers from the, the nearest bike shop. Oh, sorry mate. That's alright mate. Someone knows the law, which is good. I think the sun may have set now. wide here bike looking straight ahead Here's the gravel. I'll switch it off after this. This will give it a nice cooling down, actually. So I'm going pedaling quite fast here. Ah, bikey. Oh. Quite a lot of timber on that cargo train. Eh? Large. Probably from our van around there. Or anywhere up in West Wales. Crowded there and a bit of mist. <laughs> Couldn't help thinking about that rear tyre. Wondering if it's gonna pop. Only because whenever I've ridden with tubes, I always seem to get a puncture. Which is why I went tubeless nearly 10 years ago.
Right, I'm a picky for the Instagram page. Oh, such beautiful colours. getting up there <clears throat> quickly and without first it's the best climber I've ever had seriously absolutely love it for climbing descending you do need to watch the fork um, and the shock with making sure you've got the correct air pressure for the type of riding so it's amazing how much difference a couple of millimeters make in that rear shock when you're doing setting the sand and uh, I did blow out the shock on the bottom half of um, insufficient funds Not a lot of fun doing that. 